Overnight, post-game chaos. Hundreds of terrified fans fled Copacabana Beach as riot police moved in, responding to reports of looting and robbery. In Sao Paulo, vandals set buses on fire. With emotions running high, officials took safety precautions. To German fans, an announcement was made telling them to stay in the stadium and they will be escorted out. There's a long way to go! All this after the host country's shocking loss Tuesday. Without star striker Neymar, out after suffering an injury to his lower back last week against Colombia. And captain Thiago Silva, suspended after receiving too many yellow cards. Consolable and devastated by what they saw. In Brazil, soccer is a religion. When this happens, it sort of like crushes the whole nation. It crushes um, the dream. Many heartbreaking fans pouring out of the stadium at halftime. Police in riot gear ready for the worst. One upset fan had to be carried out. But as the sky grew dark, the unrest grew too. Now there has been a lot of anger since the beginning of this World Cup because the government had spent so much money, more than $11 billion to host this. In fact, there was a chant during the game that we heard yesterday the people cursing the president, blaming her for doing this, and there's an election in October. We'll see if she gets elected or not. Michael?